If you want to look back at the legacy of rowing at the University of Washington, just look up. This is the shell. This is the shell. This, this is, is the, the shell clipper. from 36? Yes. One seat is sacred to Judy Rance Willman. Her dad, Joe Rance, was part of the Husky team that won gold at the 1936 Olympics in Nazi Germany. What do you think he would think of all of this? Well, like I said, he was basically a humble person. He didn't want the story to be just about him. He wanted it to be about the boat. The story, based on the best-selling book, The Boys in the Boat, will now play out on the big screen as a movie directed by George Clooney. That bunch of kids rode like no one else that's ever come through here. Everybody else tires and just gets stronger. The book chronicles challenges the boys faced as college students during the Depression. Many, like Rance, fought for a spot on the team because it came with food and a job. And I thought it was a cinematic story because it's a real, you know, you're going to beat the seniors, you're going to beat the elite schools, and then you're going to beat Hitler. It's a pretty good story. It's a story Judy was desperate to tell. Luckily, her neighbor is author Daniel James Brown. You know, these are real people whose lives I'm, I'm talking about, so it becomes important to get them right on a personal level. The pair spent six years researching and writing the book. I didn't want his name forgotten. I didn't want to lose who he was. But that hard-fought gold medal was lost for years. Where were you keeping the gold medal? Well, a squirrel had taken it. But there's some places where you actually see what looks like the scrapey marks. <laughs> the Conover Shell House at UW is now a shrine to that former time. Joe's granddaughter, Jennifer Huffman, who's now a rower herself, understands why the story still resonates today and doing what you need to do for yourself, but then also being able to pull that back and become part of something bigger than yourself is, is something that is always going to be powerful. Joe passed away in 2007 before the book was finished. Beyond bestseller and the silver screen, it's a message of love from a daughter to yeah. her dad. <laughs> I think it's done an amazing job of doing that. I don't think he's going to be forgotten. No, I don't think so.